whoa, give me the glue, give me the pictures, whatever I need to do to make that vision board, let's do it now, okay? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo, and today we are talking about vision boards, seeing yourself, looking into the future, all of that, <laughs> okay? So today we are talking about the book, Jump. The author of this book is Kim Perel. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is business entrepreneurship, okay? So I have been thinking about a vision board. I've just kind of been like, I have my office, I have my stuff. Okay, life is, life is going. What do I want in the future? And that's especially relevant because I'm a new business owner. I started a company in February, 2023. It's thriving. I can't wait to do even more in 2024. So it's like, what are you gonna see? What's gonna motivate you? What's gonna get you ready to go, okay? So I've had a vision board in the back of my mind, but the last one I made didn't work out, right? I definitely thought it was gonna be like a magical spell and make all my dreams come true. That's not the case, <laughs> okay? So I'm reading this book and it's all about how to turn your fears into fuel, how to network like a boss, how to set yourself up for success, right? The author is a parent of four children and she's like, I get all of this stuff done. Even though I'm a mother, even though I'm a wife, like you have to do it, you have to jump. You can do a survival jump, you can do an opportunity jump, whatever kind of jump you need to do to take you to the next level, do it. So Kim talks about a vision board because she created a vision board and sold a business for 236 million dollars. But the truth is your vision board is not magical. The magic of a vision board is the thought that's behind it and the way that it motivates you. Okay so let's take a quick look at my vision board. Oh isn't it beautiful? So for everyone who's watching this video something is going to jump out at you and then something else is gonna jump out at somebody else because every time I look at the vision board, my eye goes to something different, right? And that is the point, okay? So let's get into how to create a vision board and I'll also talk about why it's important, what I learned from this book. So the way you create a vision board is you grab magazines and a board <laughs> and you sit down and you rip out any image or word or text, anything that catches your attention, you rip it out, okay? So then you're gonna sit down with your board and I gave myself a couple of days and so here you see me, I'm going through the clips, I'm looking at them, I'm laying them out. Some stuff I thought was cute. I had some words like goddess, I had some words like amazing and then when I started putting them on the board, they didn't work anymore. And I was like, okay, just sit them aside. Let's just see, maybe you'll come back to them. And so then I laid them out on the board right here. I'll show you a clip of that. Let me show you again. I start to add the windows, which meant a lot to me. I have different things here that say like windows of opportunity. The sky is not a limit. There is no blueprint. I set the blueprint. I set the rules, right? And I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's do it okay so I made my vision board and I have it upstairs and I look at it and something jumps out at me every day it's always gonna be something different big quote in the middle you got to give it all you have ground sometimes it'll be the heart sometimes it'll be the window sometimes it'll just be one little word right and that's the point because I have goals set for my business I have goals set for what I want to do and when I look at the board it's a constant consistent reminder of all of the things that I want to do and all the goals I have for myself and that is the point of a vision board okay so if you're gonna jump if you're gonna do the next big thing whether it's an opportunity jump to a new company or to start a business whether it's a survival jump you know a business that you had was shut down or you got laid off and now you have to do a literally a jump to survive whatever kind of jump you want to make read the book figure out best practices to make the jump and you might even want to make a vision board so if you are interested in other quick 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 five second decisions that you can make to change your life take a look at this book review here all right see you on the next one